Ava, have you decided what you're going to do about your project yet? I know. I went straight to the library. There I found the information that I wanted. After a short introduction, I was off. It was time to hit the books. But who should I interview? I checked in on the paleontologist. Nobody was there. I traveled the world and stopped at nothing. Introducing uh, Happy Potter from Outward Bound. Uh, and only um, use it so that they're they're really helping it and not leaving any um, footprints or, Jeff or bad things in, in the environment. My name is Jeff. I like to dress up like a plant and play guitar. And my name is Paige. I like to dress up like an animal and dance. Rawr! Together we are Jeff and Paige. I work for an organization called Outward Bound. And one of the things that we do to help the environment is that we teach people how to treat the environment very nicely. We teach people how to take care of it. We teach them how to not damage it. And we teach them uh, that by using something called leave no trace principles. So in essence, we are asking them to not leave anything in the environment that wouldn't be there naturally, and we teach them how to do that. What special tools do you use? We use a lot of special tools. One of the most important things that we use is something uh, for our feet. Sometimes we use very special boots or shoes so that we don't injure our feet um, when, we're, when we're traveling. Because otherwise, if we can't walk with our feet, if our feet get hurt, then we can't do anything. Do you need to go to special schools to learn your job? I did go to some special schools to learn my job. And as a matter of fact, I still go to special schools to learn my job. What? I know. School just goes on and on and on and on. What do you like most about doing your job? The thing that I like most about doing my job is helping people. I really like to have um, people have fun in the outdoors. I like them to learn that they don't have to be afraid of it. I like... Uh, to laugh with people because people get to be silly outside just like you're being silly and I like that they get to learn something about themselves too. We need to find information about your job. Where do we look? You can look on the internet. You can look at um, a website called outwardbound.org or a lot of places, a lot of neighborhoods have something called nature centers, and there's a lot of nature centers that have outdoor education jobs, too. My dad Hi, begged Hi, to Jeff. be in this movie. This is Rob, Ava, what's your name? Lydia. Lydia. So I threw him a and bone. Addie. And we're all sending you a video message because we know how excited you get about video messages. And Ava's doing a school project, and she's doing outdoor education specialist. And, and we, Lydia. And Lydia's doing a school project. What's your school project, Lydia? Do you know what you're doing? I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. We can figure it out later. So we're doing this outdoor education specialist, and we thought of you. And we thought, hey, Eddie wants her close up. Come back here, Eddie. Come back here. Come on. Sit down, sweetheart. So we thought we'd send you this video message and ask you if you could answer some questions that Ava wants to ask. So without further ado, 
Ava's going to ask you some questions. What do you guys do to help the environment? What do we do to help the environment? Great question. Indeed it was. We like to make concerts and stories about the natural world and all the things that we love about it. That's right. We like to educate kids of all ages and adults about things that they can do to make a difference in their environmental footprints. Like turning out the lights when they leave rooms. Like learning about wildlife and plants. Like exploring outdoors instead of staying inside and watching TV. Hmm. Like love for nature. There's a lot of things. Next question. Love. What special tools do you use? Hmm. What special tools do we use? Funny hats and costumes. Guitars. Hiking boots. Camping gear like water filters. Magnifying glasses for looking for bugs. Don't forget costumes. Lots of costumes. I already said costumes, Jeff. You need to go to special schools to learn your job. Do you need to go to a special school to do your job? Hmm. Well, we kind of made our own job up, but we did both go to a special school called Graduate School for <laughs> Environmental Education. Most outdoor education specialists also have degrees, or not degrees, certificates in Wilderness First Aid and, and CPR, too. What do you like most about doing your job? What do you like most about doing your job? Being silly! <laughs> you know anybody else that does your job? Do we know anyone else that does our job? Tons of people. We have lots of friends who are also environmental educators. Some outdoor educators lead hikes through the wilderness. Others like to work in schools, but every environmental educator likes to make a difference. <laughs> we have to find some information about your job. Where do we look? Where can you find more information about doing our kind of a job? Well, you could go to the library and check out some books. There's always the internet, but that's kind of boring. You could also interview an outdoor educational specialist in your area. There's all sorts of people who work for like things like the Audubon Society, parks in the area. I think you'll find a lot of people to talk to. Go you know, outside! Where did Jeff go anyway? <laughs> hey Jeff, have you ever been lost in the forest? Getting lost in the forest could be a really scary experience if you're not prepared. That's why it's important to always bring a map and a compass and to tell someone where you're going. The first step of Leave No Trace principles is to plan ahead and be prepared. <sighs> Seriously, where did Jeff go? I'm lost in the forest! Ah! <laughs> Jeff, you're just under a blanket. Oh, so I was. When are you going to come back to Grand Rapids? We'll be back in Grand Rapids this June. For a series of library shows. Come, come check them out. out. That's the end of my report.